Hey guys, um, Owen here, and we're going to be doing a face shrink. If you don't know what that is, it's where you shrink a face on Photoshop. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure you know what this is because you you know you've looked it up, so you'll know what it is. You, you've obviously seen pictures. If not, then welcome to the tutorial. Basically, All right. What you want to do is you want if you've already got the picture saved in your documents, you want to open. Find the picture. Obviously, I'm going to do PewDiePie because you know you can do whoever you want because obviously your choice. Click on the lock button here. Double click it and then just click OK. It doesn't really matter what you've named the layer. And then press Control and J. That just copies the layer, so it's a duplicate. So see, it says a copy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to hide this layer, so press the eyeball. So now this one isn't showing, just this one is. So if I rub anything out, there'll be no background, like the same background underneath it. Pretty basic. Okay, so what you want to do is, I'm just going to do this fairly quickly, is you want to delete the parts of his face that you don't want shrunk. Okay, that makes sense, right? Um... This is because you're going to be shrinking this part of the face. This is why it's a duplicate. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna. This is a rough, by the way. So you can do this a lot neater than me. That's why I'm doing a big brush. Okay. Nearly, nearly done. Okay, that's all I'm going to be shrinking. Let me just clean around the edge there. Now what you want to do is hide this layer okay now make this one appear again oh my god full face again I know obviously I haven't selected that that's why that's popped up you select this layer and then what you want to do is obviously see this here this um, spot healing tool you want to select this one the, the top one okay spot healing brush tool and what you want to do is you want to get your thingy and then just uh, click around his face and it should, obviously this is just a rough, you take more time on this, make it neater. This should just like make his, you know, his face go the colour of his skin, kind of, you know what I mean? You can hear me clicking my mouse a lot, obviously. But you can see what it's doing, it's just, you know, it's not, you know, this is just a, a quick blending thing. Now, obviously, if I was doing this for like you know some professional, not quick and easy, I'd obviously take more time on it. This is just what I usually do. Uh, okay, now you can see his face is all you know messed up, and he hasn't got a face anymore. Click this button here, make his face reappear. <gasps> you can see like obviously it's not thingy, so it's not perfect. So we get rid of that again. It's just. You know, clean up around the edges a little bit, and I've messed up a little bit. So if you mess up, just press Control Alt Z multiple times until you get back to the bit that you were at. And just keep, <coughs> pardon me, keep going over it. Obviously, this is just a rough. Okay, so put his face back on, then press Control T. Okay. Obviously, you want to select. Sorry about that. You want to select his this layer, his face, and it should come up with a little box. Hold Shift and drag it down to the size that you want it. Obviously, you want it to be in the middle. Well, I don't know if you want it to be in the middle, but that's what I want to do. Press Enter. Obviously, you can still see around the edges that it's not perfectly blended. What I do, personally, is if there's darker patches, I delete them, like around the edge of his, edges of his face. Yeah. You can see, like, and then what I do is I get the smudge tool, which is this little hand pointing, and I just smudge it in so it looks like it's been blended in. Can you see what I mean? Yep. You see like this edge here? Smudge that. Try not to get his lip or his eyes or anything. Now, obviously, I'm just doing a rough, but 
You want it to blend nicely. Okay. Right, zoom back out. Yeah, it looks okay. It could be better. Obviously, I've not took as much time as I would usually take. But yeah, obviously, that's it. So if you want to, you know, make that a singular layer, as it is, like a screenshot, if you would, but a layer. Press Control, Shift, Alt, and E, and that makes a composite snapshot. So now, if you hide these, that's its own layer. So you can delete these if you want, but I probably wouldn't. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, you now know how to do face shrinks, and obviously you will be taking more time than me on it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There'll be more like Photoshop tutorials in the future if you like this video. So if you have any questions, please comment. If you like the video, press the like button. Uh, please subscribe, because then that motivates me to do more videos. Thank you, and goodbye.